if they are not following the law. I'm worried about the people that live there. Those are my people, and they are in danger. I'm ser they're in serious danger. The local politicians may have caved, but folks in Caldwell County are still fighting. And the best evidence of what's wrong with this proposed dump being put next to a high hazard dam is now before a state district court judge. If it fails and if that dam breaches, uh, there was a report stated that there's going to be 318 lives at stake here if that breaches, but yet the TCEQ ignored that and also permitted this landfill. And some of the best new evidence? Well, it comes from Green Group. I like to call it a confession. It's the, sure we cheated, but we don't care defense. In their extensive legal filings just submitted in Travis County, both Green Group and the TCEQ freely admit engineers destroyed soil samples, but they argue no harm, no foul. Quoting, plaintiffs conducted their own investigation, allowing them to contest the evidence offered by 130EP. And oh yeah, sorry, we don't have any photographs of it. We don't have any field notes by the, the actual drilling technician who was out there. We don't have any of the soil samples. Just trust us. Here's the rub. It takes a heck of a legal fight to get to test the dump site on your own and a bucket of money. And that's why companies like Green Group like to put their dumps where poor people live. Harder for them to fight back. Remember, Green Group wanted to put a dump in Walner County along Highway 6. It took years, millions of dollars, to prove their engineering was wrong there. Those samples have been destroyed too, and it was the same engineers who worked on both projects. For a while, Green Group had a piece of a proposed toxic waste dump here in Laredo. That's done too, so their only remaining prize is this piece of land right next to the High Hazard Dam, above an aquifer in Caldwell County. The only difference in this story is that the politicians simply aren't willing to help their people fight. So let me get this straight. Gutless politicians in Caldwell County are now forcing their citizens to fight to keep the dump from being built. Really? The Caldwell County siting ordinance was passed just three months after Green Group had filed just parts of its application. Because usually we don't see an ordinance until after we've received an application. But we consider uh, the time of receipt as our trigger. So if we receive the permit application prior to the ordinance, we will continue processing the application. The citizens group EPIC argues the full application wasn't in when the ordinance was passed, that the TCQ permit approved simply isn't legal. It is a fight that will at least delay the 130 dump Maybe for years. But the court documents help expose the joke the TCEQ is becoming. Do you ever reject any application for a permit for a landfill if the local citizens are opposed to it? We have not at this time. In other words, don't hold your breath for the TCEQ to care what you think. File the permit and they will come and we'll grant them. It don't matter. They're here for one reason, to permit landfills. There's no question they did Green Group a big favor, ignoring warnings the site was simply too dangerous, the engineering flawed. You would think that Green Group's conduct in Waller County would have raised a big giant red flag. The TCEQ may have missed it, but I didn't. Uh, we've said all along the TCEQ is just kind of a rubber stamp organization. They never really considered the, uh, the items of the permit, whatever the applicant puts down is, is the gospel truth. And that's why Green Group doesn't seem worried about their confession. Quoting, that argument can't support reversal, even if this court were to agree that different findings could have been reached. We should all watch this case in Austin because it's a real test of the TCQ's power to simply ignore people, to ignore the evidence, to even ignore violations of their own darn rules. Stay tuned.